Even so, it is well with my soul. Is it well with your soul? Yes, yes. Is it well? Is it well? Talking to her last week and talking to her, 
I could feel the smile through the phone. And she was just telling me how happy she was to hear from me. Um, I was her piano teacher for a brief period at Jones Tabernacle. We gave away free <coughs> piano lessons. And so she was telling me she's still, I'm still practicing my pieces this now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, what wasn't listed on her, she was a member of the choir uh, for a few, few periods of time. But one thing that we always know about Maxine, um, she, one of the reasons why she will be missed because she was a loving person. And you can feel the love radiate. Amen. And so we just thank God for the love that she showed to not only you, but to our church family. And I just have a scripture to leave with you. It's in Matthew 5. And uh, it is, it's as follows. It's Matthew 5 and 4. It says, from the New Living Translation, God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And knowing that she knew the Lord and, and that she exemplified the life of a Christian, you can be comforted in that he is wrapping her, hallelujah, in his arms and bosom, and he's happy to receive her in his beautiful garden in heaven. So may God bless you and may he keep you. Thank you for sharing your mother and grandmother mm -hmm. with us at Jones Tabernacle. <laughs> <laughs> the obituary. This is Max, Maxine Stansbury, daughter of Renee B. Stansbury and Jesse May Turner Stansbury. Was born November 12, 1948. Excuse me, excuse me. It's Renzi Lee. I'm sorry, uh -huh. Renzi. Lee Stansbury. Renzi Lee Stansbury mm -hmm. and Jesse. Right. Oh no, he he was a Mason. He was a Mason here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Amen. Renzi. He Stansbury. Jesse May Turner. Stansbury. She was born November 12, 1948, in Indianapolis, Indiana. She received her primary and secondary education. The Indianapolis Public Schools graduating from Christmas Addis High School. At an early age in life, she professed the hope in Christ and was baptized. Maxine was a member of the Jones Tabernacle AME Zion Church, where she served on the culinary board. Maxine worked as a bus monitor for the Indianapolis Public School System, where she had been employed for 10 years. Maxine was also employed as a licensed cosmetologist Barbara Stylus. She enjoyed helping and taking care of others. In her leisure time, Maxine was a collector of music records. She loved to knit and play the piano. She was a very real individual. She would give you her last. She will truly be missed by all who knew and loved her. Ms. Maxine Spansbury leaves the part of this life, the part of this life on Sunday. September 20th, 2015, at the age of 66 years, nine months, and eight days. She was preceded in death by her parents and three brothers. She leaves to mourn, to cherish her memory, two daughters, Rochelle French and Catrice Sharp, a son-in-law, James Sharp, 11 grandchildren, eight great-grandchildren, <laughs> four sisters, Mary Smith, Ernestine Stansberry, Joanne Gaines, and Margaret Faye McKinney. One brother, Renzi Lee Skippy Stansberry <laughs> Jr. Her cousin, brother, Johnny Stansberry, and a host of nieces, nephews, cousins, and other relatives and friends. And that is humbly submitted by the family. Amen. Amen.